Hello everyone, my dear husband, dear, dear, dearest husband, Brian Eatsies, is always complaining that I'm buying too many new clothes when all I wear are my sweats. I mean, personally, what's wrong with this? And that I only have my sports bras on. I mean, it's just what's comfortable, right ladies? And I try to tell him, well, I need clothes in case I happen to go out somewhere, you know, the rare occasion, like three times a year or the carpool line, even though we all know I just roll out of bed and wear my pajamas and that. I mean, my bras are, I don't wanna wear my regular bras. Those are uncomfortable. Nothing's more comfortable than a sports bra. I mean, this shirt has some fake lace on, like it's gotta count for something, right? Anyways, he's always complaining. I'm always in sweat. So I figured, well, I don't know what he expects of me. I mean, really, I got kids, now him to deal with, just kidding. But anyways, I thought this video would be like a get dressed with me. Maybe this would inspire me to dress up for once. I mean, what am I supposed to be wearing around the house all day? I wanna be comfortable, AKA in my pajamas. It's a miracle I got out of my pajamas today and changed into this but I know this still isn't that flattering. I mean, I got my Spanx. I got my Spanx on, so that's gotta count for something, right? Ooh, crack the back. So anyways, gonna get dressed with me. I'm gonna get dressed, and I figured maybe this would motivate me to maybe wear some of my nice clothes. But I mean, like, what if, cause I just have my Spanx on, like, does he expect me to like be putting on my thigh high boots. Is this what he wants me to be wearing and chasing the kids all day so I can put my little thigh high over the knee boots on and like a faux fur jacket and does that look good? By the way, I'm not putting makeup on for him. I'm not, it's just too exhausting. You know, he can only get so many things. Whoa, whoa. So what, maybe I could just like throw this Gucci thing on and be good to go. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, well maybe tuck this in a little. <gasps> yep, I mean, I guess I need to change out of my sports bra, but there we go. Hello, Brian, welcome home. I mean, honestly, I feel like he would love if I was wearing this when he got home, but I'm not doing that, ladies. I already got three kids and I don't want another one till 10 years. But let's see, let me try on a couple other options and see what we got. Uh, I don't know, ladies. Oh, okay, I did just get these. Maybe I should try these on. Like this looks like a cute, comfortable pant that I could wear every day. That's better than my sweats. What do I wear it with? Like a turtleneck? This little turtleneck and this, I guess I could try that on. I also have this that I could um, tuck into and then maybe wear a jacket. So let's try this on. Okay, I don't know how some <laughs> of you ladies wear these like, what are these called? Like paper bag parachute pants because one, this is not flattering. <laughs> or do I like pull it down? I feel like a buffoon and I feel like I would need at least a heel, like a, a stiletto or something with this to even look like somewhat, somewhat key, somewhat cute. I'm not doing those straps. I mean, it looks like somewhat cute, cuter with the heel on, but there's not even pockets. I don't know, maybe this tank top just isn't right with this. And maybe I need to steam these. Again, maybe I need a spray tan. Maybe I need my hair down, curled and makeup on. And then this would look cute, but it doesn't look cute on me. And it needs a jacket. I'm just not feeling this. By the way, at the end of this, I'm gonna put up my spy camera so you can see Brian when he comes home. And let's see if he even compliments me that I'm dressed out of my sweats. Okay, but I have one other outfit I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try these jeans with just a good old chambray shirt. This ultimate like casual hanging at home type of outfit. I'm gonna put these on. Aren't these cute? I feel like this outfit's so Western inspired. So cute. So let me try this on because I will say these pants are very comfortable, but this is not flattering on me. This is just not my type of outfit. <laughs> I look a little silly. Oh, I tell you what guys, this is absolutely exhausting. Even figuring out what to wear during the day for my husband. You know, I know this isn't that dressed up. 
but just wait. I still got to get my shoes on and all that. I really should steam this shirt. And also I am buttoned the top for some sex appeal. We'll see if he noticed that little extra effort. But I'm gonna have you downstairs and I'm just gonna casually be making dinner, you know, like a good old housewife does. And we'll see if he even noticed that I hadn't dressed up. And by dressed up, I got my jeans on. This is effort for me because usually I'm either in my pajamas or my sweats. So we're spicing things up in, in our marriage. Okay, now I'm gonna put these cuties on. I really should put a sock on. I might even do this a couple more times and one day I'm gonna have a straight up gown on and we're gonna see if he even noticed. I'm just gonna be in the kitchen cutting up vegetables and we'll see if he even noticed if I have a formal gown on. I mean, hey, nothing's wrong with you ladies that wear your pajamas all day because I'm one of them, but I guess it's nice to dress up. Okay, can you see these shoes by the way? Oh, I probably should put a belt on. So if any of you aren't in the US, this is a very, uh, western type of outfit i think it's comfortable it's cute got a cute booty on do i leave that hanging i don't know i don't know i'm no fashion blogger that's for sure all right brian what do you think oh i better put some lipstick on since i don't have much makeup on but yeah if you don't have much makeup on i feel like putting on some lip color at least helps helps Alrighty, I really should steam this shirt. I feel like I should iron this shirt, oh well. Okay, so, can you guys see these shoes? I'm way back in my rack here. <laughs> How do I look? Okay, Brian, I'm ready for you. So, let's go downstairs and let's see if he even noticed that I'm out of my pajamas for once. Come on. Okay, just got word that he's pulling into the neighborhood. A little birdie told me. So I'm gonna try to hide the camera. Hopefully you can see me. And you know, let's see if I get a, oh, you look nice, or why are you dressed up? I'll take that as a compliment too. He's probably gonna think I'm going somewhere. Maybe I'll make him think I am going somewhere. Hmm. But I'm just gonna casually be making dinner. What's for tonight? Oh, not so unsatisfying. Soul with green harissa. Here's the soul. Oh, buy some basket. All right, so let's start cooking. You know what? I'm gonna get myself a glass of wine because I have earned it. Ooh. I already have a glass open or a bottle. This is a really good one, by the way, that I just discovered by Went or Wenty, Went Vineyards, and this is the Merlot, 2015. But they also have their, I think it's the 1883 by Went Vineyards. Yeah, 1883 by Went, and that one's really good. I just got this at Kroger. You know what? I should probably pour Brian a glass as well. That would be a nice wifely thing to do, wouldn't it? Do I want to? I don't know. Cheers, ladies, by the way. <laughs> yeah, cheers, sweetie. Wow, look at you. <laughs> oh, do you notice? <laughs> Thank you. I didn't think you would notice. <laughs> yeah, Billy, but it's just an experiment I'm doing. To see your husband's reaction. To see if he.